new episode of Spoon Stuff Stories is out now. Mrs. Sick animating, me doing all the voices. It's a fun time to be had by all. Check it out. Now, it turns out, if any of these parts are missing, the trap doesn't work. Oh, crap. Did we just walk in partway through a conversation? Oh, dear. Um, do you want to go back a bit? Oh, no, wait. That's the start of the video? Oh, okay. Well, this is awkward. But not as awkward as the title of the video. Expert destroys Darwin's theory in five minutes. Mostly because what's the betting? He's not an expert and the only thing he will be destroying in the next five minutes of this video is any credibility that that beard gave him. Because he sure as shit ain't getting any from any form of education or mastery. But that's just a guess. I mean, he sat there with a freaking mousetrap. How well do you think this is going to go? So not only is it complex, it's what I called irreducibly complex. So I think I know where this is going. Basically, evolution doesn't real, and I'm going to say evolution because, come on, that's what it will be talking about. We have moved beyond simply Darwin's theories at this point. Because if you take a part off of that mousetrap, it couldn't function as a mousetrap anymore. Therefore, evolution doesn't reel air horns, ETC. I mean, maybe he's got a far less silly argument coming up, but I doubt it because he thinks he can destroy an extremely well-founded theory, using a thing designed to destroy small rodents. Not even the same thing. And you want to break it. That's just not going to work, mate. You can't take a part away and still have it work. Yeah, okay, I was right. Shonk. But no, that's just not a good argument against evolution, my dude. For starters, that mousetrap doesn't alive. It doesn't reproduce. So using it in any way as an argument against biological evolution is a tad silly, to say the least. But even as a non-organic object, there's still a completely rational evolutionary parallel to be presented. You can change the parts of that mousetrap for better suited materials or redesign shapes and styles that make it better suited for its job. Whether that be being a better mousetrap or for being a cheaper mousetrap so more people buy it, increasing its fitness as either a pest control device or as a product. I mean, f that elegant, simplistic appearing design wasn't the first and probably won't be the last. There have been loads of different trap designs over the century. My favourite being this f***ing thing. And I think we can all agree, it's all been devolution ever since someone came up with this fantastical health and safety nightmare. In all seriousness, I nearly fell out of my chair laughing at the sheer goddamned absurdity. Thank you, the 1880s, for being sillier than anything I would come up with. If you took away this hammer, you know, the mice don't get caught, take away the spring or the holding bar, any of the pieces, it doesn't work. Right. So what? That's got nothing to do with how evolution functions. I know the argument in your mind is that somehow an organism evolves one piece at a time. That like, say, the Jesus lizard's feet just evolved somewhere out in the jungle or whatever, and along crawls this footless lizard who's like, that's just what I've been looking for. This isn't freaking spore, my dude. The parts evolve together at the same time. Maybe one of them gets a bit of focus for a while, but no animal evolves without an integral part of themselves and then has it appear out of nowhere. That's not what anybody thinks evolution is. Well, apart from people like you who have no f***ing idea what evolution is. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Now, the problem for Darwin's theory is, is that... As always, I'm looking forward to someone who is clearly a galaxy brain explaining something that they have not a single iota of understanding about and just completely shit the bed. It's why I do this. I mean, how else am I supposed to keep myself occupied? Get one of those real jobs people keep talking about? F*** that noise. Last time I had one of those, they did not appreciate me turning up drunk. But how am I supposed to do barrel rolls in a passenger aircraft without a bit of the old Dutch courage, eh? Those things are f***ing dangerous. Number one, the molecular foundation of life... Has nothing to do with mouth traps. I know, Darwin was there banging on and on and on about mouse traps, but it turns out that all of his theories don't make sense when every other sentence is punctuated by the word mouse trap. Fortunately, someone spotted that early. So now we use the mousetrapless version of the text when studying Darwin's original theories. And they make a lot more sense that way. Is, is run by machines. The cell is run by 
actual machines made out of molecules. Not sure how that's a problem, but he does make it sound significantly cooler than it really is. I mean, I hear machines and I think terminators and crap like that, but what it really means is little squishy micro-organic garbage and not the wonderful cold steel of our future robot overlords. Sad. People <laughs> find that fantastic, but hey, that's, that's the way it is. There are little... It's only fantastical because, well, it's more a way of getting people to understand how that shit works. They are not the same as the kinds of machines humans build. The same way that the coding of DNA isn't actually the same as computer code. I mean, the lettering alone is a human interpretation of what DNA is and how it works. It's not the same thing. Machines that act like... Uh, outboard motors that can propel cells along and other machines that carry cargo from one part of a cell to another. Again, it's an analogy. They are functionally similar, but not the same thing. But we're kind of getting off topic as to how does this destroy evolution? Is evolution not real because people are full of tiny little boats? I mean, that'll do it. Everyone knows that God isn't real because of boats. No, seriously. How can God be real when we never got that boat named Boaty McBoatface? A submarine isn't a fucking boat, damn it! And those machines, just like pretty much any machine, and including the mousetrap, have a number of different parts performing different roles. Now we just have to find the cell that produces whiskey, extract that from the humans, and then we won't need them anymore. By golly, he's right. We should kill all humans. It's the only rational thing to do. And they're all needed for the machine to work. Eh, depends. Here's the thing about evolution, and even at a cellular level. Just because something is really good at its current function doesn't mean that it was always its function. I mean, take your little motorboat ones and say that it has a spike on the end to attack things. Well, maybe at some point that could have been a stationary cell that things would instead bump into, eventually developing that movement which would make them more effective at another task. Or like you said, a cell that transports things about. Well, blood cells don't have the motorboat engine, but they are excellent at transporting oxygen ETC around the body. Same job, different setup. And if the circulatory system changed to function in a different way, I'm sure those cells would change to suit that new environment. Because that's how this shit works. Darwin's theory of uh, evolution requires that natural selection favor an organism that has a very small change that helps the organism. Effectively, yeah, that's a good enough explanation of evolution via natural selection. Now, how are you going to screw up the whole thing from that basic understanding to the point where I have to wonder if you even listen to the words that you say out loud? Do something better. Oh, please, do be better than everyone who's ever on this channel. Otherwise, I think I'm going to have to confiscate that beard. If you turn out to be as silly as I think you will, I don't believe you should have the power of such a glorious silver chin strap. So if we're taking that view of Darwinism, we can ask how could something like this, something like a mousetrap, be put together one tiny step at a time? Um, it wouldn't go one tiny step at a time because it's made by people. Creatures do that because that's how it has to work. Natural selection not only requires time but large numbers of critters in order to spread various changes. At least with something like sexual reproduction. There's actually other things but this is good enough for now. Many versions of the same thing breeding and surviving together. The best able to breed more and survive longer, leading to more copies of itself, slowly changing the whole group. But an object, something designed by humans, still requires steps to form. I mean, do you think that that mousetrap is not only the final form, but even remotely the first? I mean, again, we had all these, but even before those, the spring-loaded mechanism it has was used for something else. And that will have changed and altered further. In fact, before that, it would have just been people figuring out they could make metals into shapes they liked. Or before that finding the metals and refining them. It's all part of the evolutionary process that led to what you have in your hands right there. And many of those steps were tiny as the processes were honed. Many of the stages had purposes with no relation to the extermination of household pets. I really don't think this is the gotcha that you think it is, pal. It's kind of the opposite. 
And it turns out <laughs> it's surprisingly difficult. You What, making an argument that even remotely debunks evolution? Yeah, in fact, it's really, really, really hard because evolution is a fact about reality. So it's like trying to debunk the sun producing light by showing me a photo of the sun and saying, see, there's no light coming off there, so the sun doesn't produce light. I mean, it's not the same, but it is equally stupid. You know, if you just had the wooden platform, just the bottom, that doesn't catch mice. Um, catch? That's not what that kind of mousetrap is for. Also, that's not true. If you throw it hard enough, you can definitely catch them. In fact, with a big enough one, you could catch almost any size animal. In fact, in fact, you have inspired me and I'm looking into one big enough to catch an entire goddamn planet. Don't worry, it's not for Earth. I would never blow up this planet, asterisk. If you put on, say, this, this holding bar, you might say, well, maybe if a mouse is running along, it would trip on the platform and impale itself on the whole thing. <laughs> what the f*** are you talking about? You're laughing at this idea like it's stupid, because, well, it is, but it's your idea that's stupid. This is a completely useless analogy for evolution. Those small changes would be ones of material or slight size differences, not entire f functions all at once. The word is adaptation, like there's a reason that whales have what appear to be hand bones, but not in hands, they have fins instead. I'm sure there are others, but my brain hole has adapted into whiskey storage, so I'm not so good at the braining. But at least I'm drunk. Anyway, those things changed over time to fit another purpose. Given enough time and forcing, they can and will change again in other ways. But that's, that's kind of just silly. Yes, thinking that the mousetrap as you hold it is somehow the only version that which has existed is very silly. In fact, if that's what I thought you thought from your little destroyathon here, I might think you're an absolute fool who has no business calling themselves an expert in anything other than being the world's most ridiculous old person. Uh, so this can't be made gradually. So that's a big problem for Darwin's theory because Oh, you f***ing moron. Not only can it absolutely be designed gradually, it's called engineering, it's also not a problem for evolution by natural selection because it's not made by that means. Who put this man in that chair and recorded him being so silly? This is an extremely poor taste prank you are pulling on this obviously senile man. For shame. Hilarious though, I'm not gonna lie. Pretty much the foundation of life these things are, are all over the place. The foundation of life? What the f*** has that got to do with evolution? God damn it, it's always the same with you sort. You literally have no idea what you're talking about, even remotely. Darwin's ideas have nothing to do with origins of life. They are about the diversity of life. It's like how planet formation has nothing to do with the origins of the universe. Yes, one preceded the other, but it's not trying to explain it. How do you guys always manage to screw that up? It's almost like you're kind of dumb or something. And furthermore, you can ask yourself, well, how do we recognize intelligence? Ugh. Well, I'll tell you where you won't find any in this f***ing video. And no, just saying, furthermore, doesn't make one of auspicious intellect. In fact, it makes it kind of more stark when you are an utter cretin. Intelligence has essentially nothing to do with evolution, whether that be the expectation of something moving towards it, and in the case of natural selection, as this video is about, that it would be needed for that process. Hint, if f***ing don't, mate. And it turns out that the way that we recognize intelligence is by how not stupiding someone does other talking. That's how you know Sir Sick B's the biggest brainer of all and the worlds. He does talk like a real smart guy. And if used by, spelt B-Y, my book, How to Talk Real Good Like What I Does, you can do that thing I'm being right now. By what I called a purposeful arrangement of parts. Dude, you don't want to apply that idea to anything built by Evolved Boys. I mean, humans alone have some of the worst arrangements of parts known, mostly because human engineers, they have those bodies, and they will tell you the design faults that are in those f***ing useless bodies all day long. So if you want to argue someone did the Who-Mans on purpose, then you are saying that person or persons are freaking idiots. 
who have no goddamn idea how to design anything even remotely fit for purpose. And since I'm pretty sure I know who you think did that, well, I hear he hates it when people point out his mistakes, so I would just drop it, mate. And that's when different parts are put up in relationship to each other, where you can see that they have a purpose, that is, the arrangement has a purpose. And what of vestigial body parts, or again, those that have an obvious relation to something else, like the whale hand bones, or other things that simply don't make sense being where they are, like having the air pipe and the solid pipe being the same pipe, that if blocked, can extremely quickly and effectively kill the owner. I simply don't know what you're talking about when you talk of these things having purpose when they are clearly faults. An easy example are letters in a word, you know, people put the letters in to form a word, words to make a sentence and so on. That's a terrible example. Why are you so bad at this? Stop. The letters and words are almost entirely arbitrary. They only serve purpose so far as someone understands what those squiggly lines and honking sounds mean. You have to already know. This isn't close to the function of something being even remotely specific. That's why we have these things called languages. They can be very different to each other. Like how I'm speaking English and you are speaking gibbering moron. Wait, before you go, I have something super important to tell you. It's life or death. It will change everything forever. Nope. Wait, it's gone. Oh well, probably wasn't important. But while I have you, don't forget to comment, subscribe and notify. And if you want more of my smexy voice, Check out Mrs. Six's channel, Spoon Star Stories, where I narrate and voice all the videos. And she does the work. And if you want to support the channel, check out the merch store for cool t-shirts, or check out Patreon, memberships and PayPal to support directly. Finally, follow me on the medias of social to get completely pointless guff and to keep up on the latest releases. Oh, I just remembered what I was going to tell you. Whatever you do, don't touch the-